Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. Hopefully this will be fast, as in less than 15, substantially less than 15 minutes. I cannot believe, I cannot believe that people are thinking that Pizzagate is about a pizza shop in <laughs> D.C. Uh, again, reduction to the ridiculous. This is the mainstream media, the establishment, who has lost control of the narrative. They have lost control of their propaganda arm because nobody believes the propaganda anymore because it's so blatant and stupid, right? The same guys that told you that Hillary was going to win were wrong. The same guys that are telling you about global warming were wrong. Uh, I know I have Canadian friends. There's been snow on the ground since early October, and they expect snow on the ground in the, to be there in March. Uh, that narrative might be incorrect. I'll put a couple links down there because it's just fun. But see, and I much it's much easier in my brain <laughs> to argue about global warming and science than it is to talk about this disgusting thing that's called Pizzagate. And again, Pizzagate, it's not about a couple of pizza shops in D.C. It opened the door into the fact that there is child trafficking going on in the United States. And if you idiots cannot believe that child trafficking is in the highest levels of our government, really, Haster, that's, I got to shut your friends up with, the, with one word, Haster, Speaker of the fucking House of Representatives of the United States of America, convicted pedophile, admits it, basically gets off scot-free, basically gets off with, with hardly any punishment whatsoever for fucking and raping children. Speaker of the House. So you're going to tell me that this guy that's that's just a campaign manager can't be involved, even though he looks just like the police sketches? All right, and then people started looking and going, wow, wait a minute. Okay, so, and what we find out from Siebel Edmonds and other whistleblowers that have been trying to tell us this for like 30 years, Breitbart and others, 30 more, for, I mean, it's been going on for decades, it's been going on for centuries, actually. But in the United States, it became, you know, it entered the public consciousness a little bit, uh, you know, in the early 90s, and then it was swept under the rug. And then, let's see, uh, huge amounts of child porn on, on uh, computers at the Pentagon, like 5,000 cases of it. And again, if they've got child porn, there's a possibility. And again, that's just evidence of infrastructure. Hastert, evidence of infrastructure. Did, was he raping uh, neighborhood kids or was he getting those, like, was it his family member? No, he was procuring those children. Where was he getting these kids from? Damn it. Now, put two and two together. Do some critical thinking. Do some research. Click some links. Read. Read those emails. Take a look around the world, what's going on in other places where they bust pedophiles. And it turns out, uh, it looks like a lot of the pedophiles that have been busted in, in very recent times, that came from our own FBI, tipping off other foreign uh, governments and agencies and so forth. And see, like I said, it all starts here in the mind is when you start to, oh, like I was completely ignorant. I just watched this thing by Madonna, right? And I'm, I've never been a huge fan of Madonna, but I've always had the utmost respect for her as a savvy business person. I mean, I don't, I'm not a big fan of her music, like, you know, maybe one of her albums and so forth, but there's no question that I understood what she was trying to do and understood that, you know, she had to deal, you think Hillary, right? <laughs> Fucking Hillary didn't have any kind of punishment as compared to, let's see, but she had the success too, right? Madonna. I'm talking about, um, you know, but she made it clear that sexuality, I mean, God bless Madonna, because before Madonna, I didn't think, I, I mean, you got to remember, this is back in the 70s and 80s, way back in the day, um, we were taught that women that like sex were naughty, right, in, in fact, there's still a lot of that, we were taught that women that are beautiful and smart can't, I mean, they can't be beautiful and smart, they can't be super sexy, beautiful, and really smart, that's, you just can't, you're not allowed, anyway, the, the point being is that I was completely ignorant, and when I use this term, like it's always got negative connotation, but I was completely ignorant to the, to the actual misogyny, not the whining liberal misogyny, but I mean actual, like, I can tell you a story about a woman I knew in uh, Salt Lake City, and uh, I wanted to go to the Grand Canyon, and uh, I was like, well, haven't you been to the Grand Canyon before? It's like right there. It's just a drive down there. Why don't we just go down? She's like, who would I go with? I'm like, why do you need to go with somebody? And her response was, because I was a woman. I was like, well, that's ridiculous. You're, I mean, bring a gun with you and you're good. No, why would she even want to get into the situation where she might need to use her gun? And how is it possible that, that uh, women, I mean, it's, anyway, I was completely ignorant as to the fact that uh, really being born with a penis gives you a huge advantage in the United States. Like, not e that's not even a joke. That's not, I mean, that shouldn't even be up for debate. Huge, huge advantage. I didn't realize I didn't realize, I, I was completely ignorant, I did not realize that child trafficking was going on to the extent that it's going on, because I was completely ignorant, I didn't want to take a look. 
mean, we got a long way to go when it comes to women's rights and feminist movement and so forth and just equal, equal rights and individual rights in general. And now, because people are waking up to the fact that uh, the lying liars are lying on MSNBC and NBC and CBS and name them all, CNN, all these guys, they are now pretty much irrelevant because they just give you bullshit. Are they going to look at, 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 at uh, the WikiLeaks and provide that to the American people? Hell no. That, that, because the, their establishment masters aren't having that. I mean, just read a WikiLeak. I'll put, I should have put the uh, links. I'll put it, I'm going to add it to the, the two videos that I made previous to this about uh, Pizzagate. Um, but the most damaging WikiLeaks, the Podesta emails. Okay, read those. They're authentic. They come from, right? And then now they're going to try and obfuscate with fake news and Russians on the flimsiest evidence. If I came out and I said that the Russians had hacked the election, election with the evidence that these guys are proffering, you would laugh at me. You would laugh at anybody. But since it's the CIA and you all have respect for authority because it's been beat into you since you were five years old in a public school to have respect for authority, to stand up when that, you know, when the national anthem plays, to salute that flag, when the bell rings, it's time to go to another class. They got you 100% programmed. They got you mind controlled. The CIA is telling you that the Russians hacked the election on no evidence. Right? If, I mean, if we, if Pizzagate gave you the amount of evidence that they were giving you for the Russians hacking the election, you, again, you'd be correct to be like, well, this Pizzagate is bullshit. But wait a minute, Pizzagate's bullshit, and we've got mountains of evidence. I mean, oh my God, it hurts your head. All these people coming forward. Right? Year after year after year, if you take a look at it, all these various victims uh, relating the uh, just atrocities. There's no other word for it that these people are doing to children, right? These Satanists. And like I said, it's not every pizza place is a satanic <laughs> cult <laughs> stronghold. I mean, you're just ridiculous. But the fact that this thing opened up a window into the, what's actually going on around the world and that there are still sex slaves and, oh, by the way, there are still those worshiping the elder gods and, oh, by the way, there are still actual satanic cults going on and you can't figure out, wait a minute, Hastert was the Speaker of the House and they see, they see how they do it? They make it look like, oh, it was a very isolated incident. Right? They somehow managed to bring Hastert down without bringing all the infrastructure that was down around it. I mean, just walk into any store, walk into Walmart and look around at the awesome capitalism that, I mean, all those different products, how did they get to a shelf? I mean, all those industries all in one place for you to buy, right? Okay, same thing with porn. You, the, getting actors, where do they get the child actors for child porn, right? Or where do they get these kids for child porn? Is it, is it just, you, do you think it's just... You know, some perverts and, uh, you know, uh, foster a few foster moms or whatever taking their kids and making a buck off of child porn? Or do you think there's an industry there? Looks to me like there's an industry there. Looks to me like they procure these kids from someplace. Uh, Haiti, Silsby. Just click the hashtag Silsby. But it looks like they're getting them from other places. Looks like uh, we've had more than a few that have managed to stick their head up, but usually those guys get killed too, or those women get killed too, talking about being sex slaves in the Middle East or in Africa, right? Literally being kidnapped and taken there and have no way to get out. And when they finally do get out, they're either laughed at, uh, ignored, or if they do speak and they get a little bit of traction, they disappear. There's very few of them that actually, you know, live out nice, ripe old age after being sex slaves. And we've just looked the other way. And it's become clear, it's become clear to many now that, again, the Pizzagate thing, they're trying to control the dialogue by telling you it's just, it's a, it's a crazy story about Hillary running a pedophile ring out of a pizza parlor in D.C. No, it's a crazy story. It's absolutely a crazy story about the fact that pedophiles have uh, absolutely operating, absolutely been operating in plain sight, right in front of your noses. To the point where uh, they were able to sell these sex slaves and these child prostitutes using symbology that most of us ignored and didn't even understand what we were looking at. You had to be a pedophile. You had to know the code. And if you walked into, I mean, because you can walk into, I, now I realize I was in L.A. and I walked in this cupcake place and it just, it was just odd. You know what I mean? Like, all they sold was cupcakes. And I can believe that because L.A. is a big city and, you know, you can make business for people that, were, you know, do business selling cupcakes. But now I gotta. I want to go back in there, and I'll bet you the logos have changed. It's too late already. But I, I just, I, I mean, like I said, I just had a weird feeling when I walked in that place. 
just an odd, it was too, and there were some, I noticed a few, a, a little bit of occult symbolism, but I was, but I just put, uh, played it off to, to, uh, you know, avant-garde interior decoration <laughs> with the black and the white. And this kind of, but anyway, I noticed a, a few things. I was like, hmm. And then the, it was just odd. Okay. That's the only time I can think of personal experience, but I mean, I have no proof. I have no proof whatsoever. I mean, and that's a serious charge uh, talking about, you know, pedophilia and so forth. But s some of this stuff, you got to be just stupid not to see it. And all you got to do is look, you just got to look, right? Um, and once you look, you'll get sick. I mean, you'll get literally you get sick to your stomach. I mean, it's so ill. There aren't words for how ill this is. And especially the satanic uh, part of it, the satanic rituals that go along with. I mean, there's corpses involved and little children and sex and handkerchief. Oh, my God. It's just horrifying. Okay. Uh, it's going on. Uh, you need to grow up. You need to take a hard look because, I mean, America is fucked up about sex when it comes to down to it. I mean, just regular, plain old, you know, vanilla sex between like two adult male or two adult female or two adult a male and a female or any adults. We are fucked up about that. But I mean, when it comes to children, we really don't want to take a look at that. Because we have this idea that our masters are all, you know, but, and again, I'm not one of those people that believes that it's like, you know, 100% of the government or everybody in government's cor corrupt and crooked and blackmailable and so forth. But a lot of them are, and key positions are, right? They put you in a judgeship or they'll put you in a, you know, speaker of the house or they'll put you in various places where, uh, and see, this is the thing, what it has to do to, to get taken down. Because they would have covered for him. But apparently they wanted him out of the way and they wanted to put somebody else in there or he crossed somebody or something happened so it got out. And then they made it look like it was an isolated incident. And then we look at, like I said, look at the Pentagon. M huge amount of cases there. And it just, we just stopped, just stopped investigating. Oh, well, 5,000, yeah, I'm going to take a walk. Nobody, nobody looks. I mean, it's uh, going on as we speak under our noses, and this is the month. The solstice is coming up, right? And the winter solstice, that's the, that's the time for the Satanists, right? So you're going to see all kinds of satanic rituals and so forth going on. Uh, well, you're not going to see them. They happen behind closed doors, and you're going to pretend like it's not happening while you look at the Russians hacking the election. <laughs> it's just painful. Uh, and I can't believe that you guys would fall for this. I cannot believe that the masses would fall for the one, the flimsy, I mean, like, okay, so if they're going to tell you that the Russians hacked the election, and you're going to believe that on no evidence, and then people are going to tell you about Pizzagate on copious amounts of evidence, why don't you demand the amount of evidence for Pizzagate, or for the Russians hacking the election that you do for Pizzagate, and vice versa? Right? Again, think critically, demand evidence, demand, demand that, they, uh, that you are satisfied with the evidence that they give you. I don't see a huge amount. And then we got conflicting stories from the NSA and FBI and so forth about Russian hacking. But I don't see evidence for a huge amount of Russian hacking into our election on machines that, by the way, aren't even connected to the Internet. And the one place we do see some evidence of hacking of the machines was in Georgia. And the this, this state attorney general of Georgia said it was DHS. It was that came from the Department of Homeland Security that tried to hack that. Uh, oops. And then we look in, and, and I told you the recounts would be awesome. See, that, that Jill Stein is crazy like a fox. She knew, and I knew, and a lot of other people knew, because of fraction magic and so forth, that there was going to be quite a bit. I mean, black box voting has been telling you that our vote is not secure for the longest time. And so when they did the recounts, I was like, well, that's odd that Hillary would want to come out of hiding and talk about recounts when I know for a fact that, she, that the Democrats after stealing the primary from Bernie Sanders, tried to steal the prime or the uh, general for Hillary. And if you don't think there was some vote fraud and hacking going on by the Republican side, then you're fooling yourself. And again, you think the Republicans are squeaky clean in this Pizzagate thing? It's just Democrats? I think, again, you're fooling yourself. Right? We have much more evidence. We have direct evidence because it was Podesta, a Democrat, whose emails got hacked and released. Uh, that that's, seems to be part of this. And again, Podesta and Hester, friends. Right? Birds of a feather flock together. Child molesters hang with child molesters. Right? If you're if you're a bright, upstanding, uh, you know, individual that goes to church on Sundays and isn't got anything to do with pedophilia and believes in do unto others as they should do unto you and you know living a Christ-like existence, you're probably not hanging out with pedophiles. I'm just saying because if you find out that they're pedo you're going to be shocked and horrified and might turn them in or at least not hang around with them. But people that that engage in uh, nefarious behavior. Uh, tend to hang out with each other. 
and then you get this thing where uh, it's generally called conspiracy. Anyway, crime stalkers, take a look at all the evidence. Uh, demand evidence. Think critically. Uh, e pluribus unum. It's not that hard to figure out what the hell's going on. Really, it's not. Many, many links. Take a look. Share them. Ask questions.